Hello, this is sixth grade lesson to Yorkshire, and we'll go over uh, all the questions. So, first of all, the length of swing pool is 100 meters and its width is 15 meters. What's the ratio of width to length in the swing pool? So, it's asking WTL, which W stands for width and L stands for length. Uh, we're given length as 100 meter. So we're gonna uh, replace L with 100 and then we're gonna re replace 50 with width because it's given width is equal to 50 meters. So if you do this then you'll get a 1, 2, 2. So the correct answer is B. Okay. Uh, let's do number 2. 2. For every 7 days in a week, Emily rides a bicycle 3 days. What is the ratio of days when Emily rides a bicycle to the days when the Emily doesn't ride a bicycle? So for every seven days, which is a week, uh, Emily rides three days. So she rides three days, and then the, the remaining days, she doesn't ride the bicycle. So that's four days. So it's going to be three to four. Okay, number three. Looking in my in my area, candidates to the school election area uh, should be R, I think. Uh, for every six students voters, two of them voted for Logan. What is the fastest number of students who voted for Logan in MI? So, uh, let's let's uh make six students. So every six student voters, two of them voted for Logan. So it's gonna be two to six. Uh, and then you have to see the possible volume number of students who voted for the login in Emma. So let's see. Oh, it's actually 2 to 4. Sorry. So the ratio is going to be 1 to 2. And then just 1 will get, 1 will be login, and then 2 will be Emma. So we're just going to basically look for 1 to 2 ratio. And then since B is 1 to 3, it's not going to be B, and then D is also 1 to 3, so it's not D. And then if you look at the answer choices A and C, Logan gets lower vote compared to Emma, so it's going to be A. And then if you look at C, Emma gets a lower vote compared to Logan, which is not true, because Logan get, Logan's the one who gets the lower vote. So, will be A, the answer Great answer is going to be A, and then the total people who voted will be 360 people. Okay. Number four. Mia has 36 forks and 24 knives in her silverware jar. What is the ratio of knives to forks? So you got 24 knives, and then you got 36 K for knives, and then 36 forks. F for fork. The ratio is asking knives to fork, so we're just going to make it 24 to 36. Or you can also write it as 24 over 36, which if you simplify, you can divide by 4 first, this becomes 6 over 9. And then if we divide by 3, we get 2 over 3. So we're just going to basically look for 2 to 3 or 2 over 3, which is going to be B. Okay, number 5. There are 50 empty seats on the bus and then 20 passengers. What is the ratio of passengers to the empty seats? So 50 are empty, and then I'm guessing there are total 70 seats, but 20, as 20 people uh, are in the bus, 20 seats are taken, so 50 are empty. So uh, yeah, it's going to be 20 to 50, because they're asking for the passengers to empty seats, then you're given that 50 seats are on the 50 empty seats are on the bus and then there are 20 passengers so it'll be 20 to 50 and if you just cancel on zeros it'll be 2 to 5 or I think it could be uh, 2 to 3 which then in this case it'll be 20 passengers are on the bus and then 30 seats are empty so basically you're just gonna take out 20 from 50 empty seats but since the question is not clear I feel like A is the correct answer, but just take a note that C can be the also correct answer. 
Okay, number six. The perimeters of two squares are 16 inches and 20 inches. What is the ratio of length to their sides? Okay, so squares are really special. So let me just, just draw two squ squares. Okay, squares are like rectangle, they're really special because every single, each side has the same length. So basically, if one side is x, then the other sides are also going to be x. And then for this, I'll, I'll need this S1 for square 1 and then S2 for square 2. And then if you look at square 2, if I make one set y, then the other set has to be y. Because that is the property of square. So if you're given 16 inches and 20 inches as a perimeter, that means that x plus x plus x plus x, which is also 4x, 4x is, 4x is equal to 16 inches and then y plus y plus y plus y which is 4y 4y is equal to 20 inches it really doesn't matter on which variable you make it 20 or 16 but since i drew this square as small one compared to the square number two i'll just make square number one equal to 16 inches but it really doesn't matter it depends on you so if i solve for x you get four so for the smaller square, one side is equal to 4. And then if I solve, solve for y, you get 5. So for a larger one, 5 inches is going to be your length. And then the question is asking, what is the ratio of length, to, length of their sides? So you're just going to basically look for 4 to 5 or 5 to 4. But since we only have the option choice is D, which is 4 to 5 that satisfies the question, D is going to be the answer.